This project goes all the way back to January and February where we were doing rhythms and we were playing a lot of bingo. So just to recap before you do your kahoot, I have got four different note lengths. I have got a soup, which is a minimum, which is soup, lasts for two beats. I've got T, 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 which lasts for one. I have got coffee, so a half plus a half is one in total. Coffee, coffee, coffee. And then I've got drinking chocolate, which is four times a quarter, which equals one. So it's drinking chocolate. Your task, your first task, you need to go on to Q and you need to identify the rhythm. So if I have got this. You would go T, T, coffee, T, because that's what's here. So T, T, coffee, T. If I had this, I've got soup, T, coffee. Okay, so it's just using the stitch for diagram. Feel free to write the diagram down as well when you do it. So this is how to set up your GarageBand document. So I'm on my library, I need to click the plus or the create document tab and it comes up to this. If it is in live loops, it will look like this. And you need to click the tracks at the top to put it on your instruments. You scroll across and you want acoustic drums. So you have to tap on that. You've now got a drum kit. So any drum kit will do, but the first one we use should look like a proper drum kit. You take one of your rhythms. So the first one I'm going to do is T, T, coffee, T. Just have a, have a practice on one drum. T, T, coffee, T. And I'm going to spread that around my drum kit. So I'm going to go T, T, coffee, T. Don't use too many symbols as it gets too much. So I might go, that one sounds a bit better. And if it's repeating, it's not too lot, too many symbols. I need to have my metronome on the top. And I need to have my arrow at the beginning. I'm going to record my rhythm and it has to be in time with the metronome so it ticks. So I'm going to go T, T, coffee, T. And I'm only going to do it once. When I'm happy that I know what I'm doing, I press record. That is a little bit fast. So I want you to change all of this. Click on the on the spanner or the cog which is settings click on tempo which means speed and turn it down to 90 and then record and press stop when you get to number two you have to have your metronome on otherwise you are not going to be in time go into the brick wall and you can see your little rhythm there if you don't like it double tap press delete to go back into your instrument you double tap on your instrument so now i'm in my brick wall the next things i want to do is quantization which means i put it all in time so i double tap go to settings i click quantization so this is the difficult bit if you have only used soups or teas so really easy slow ones you are going to use a quarter if you have used coffee at any point, you need to do an eighth. And if you've used a drinking chocolate, you need to click on a sixteenth. That will move your notes so they are really, really exactly on the beat. Now you need to loop it, so it means it continuously plays. So I double tap and I click loop. You need to make sure that it's finished at number two and no early or later. So now it's looped, it's continuously going. So that's my percussion instrument number one. I'm now going to click the plus at the bottom here. And I'm going to add another instrument. And I'm going to add another acoustic drum kit. I'm adding more rhythms on top of each other. 
and that's called a polyrhythm when I have many rhythms so that's the key word I want you to remember polyrhythm I'm now going to use another rhythm that you've come up with so I'm going to go T T soup you don't have to use the slim drum kit you can click on the name and you can choose a different drum kit you can choose electronic ones and do them as well so when I'm ready to record my arrow goes at number one my metronome is blue and I click record I want to practice it first so so I'm gonna go T T soup T T soup so record two three and soup. so don't record when it's saying the numbers one two three four go into my brick wall and it's there double tap settings quantization and that one was teas and soup so it's a quarter then double tap and loop and now I've got two on top of each other and I can hear them that's two so I've now got a polyrhythm because I've got many rhythms on top of each other I then want you to do it again with number three acoustic drum kits and you can change them to any ones any ones that you've got in there but they need to go on top of each other do not use the gong because it continuous the noise it overdoes the rest of your sound so you won't be able to hear anything I'm now going to do another one I'm going to go coffee 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 tea where am I going to do it there my arrows at number one my metronome is still blue and I click the arrow I let it count down and then I go I press root stop when it gets to number two back into the brick wall double tap settings quantization and I use coffees so it's an eighth and then double tap and loop feel free to stop the video and slow it down and do it at your own pace so now I've got three I stop so that's my three rhythms going on top of each other now I want my last one which is a four acoustic drums and I'm gonna go with anyone. Let's go try this one. Okay. I was at the beginning. I'm gonna go T T T coffee. So press record when you're ready and you've had a practice. And press stop at number two. That's in there. Same again. Quantize. And I had coffee, so it's an eighth. And then double tap and loop. If you zoom in, you can see that all the little dimples where you ended your recording are on the number two. And that's what you need for them to all be in line. So that's the bare minimum. This is the extension task. So you've got all four rhythms in there. I want you to press plus. I want you to scroll to piano and I want you to click smart piano. I want you to add a bass guitar. So click on grand piano, other, and then go down and click on P bass, click on done. You should have chords up if you don't and you have notes like this, you need to click on this button here and it'll turn to chords. The four chords I want you to use are C, which is here, G, A minor, then F. And you're going to do them for four beats each. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four. G, two, three, four. A, two, three, four. F, two, three, four. When I'm ready to do it and I've had a practice, you use only the grey bits. Put my arrow at the beginning and I'll press record. Hello. Press stop and it'll take you all the way to number five. Into the brick wall and I still quantize this but I've only used T so it's a quarter. 
and then I still loop it. So now all together it sounds like this. Next one, I will at the beginning. Add another smart piano. And I'm gonna keep it as a piano. You are doing the chords this time and you're gonna do it on the white bit. Four beats each on each chord but you can do any rhythm. So I'm going to go soup, tea, tea, soup, tea, tea, and then A and F. Arrow at the beginning, press record. Press stop into your brick wall. Double tap, settings. And I'm going to use soups and tea, so it's a quarter, double tap, and loop. If you want to turn some of your sounds down so you can hear different sounds, you put your finger and you drag this out. So I'm going to turn my piano down a bit. I'm going to turn this one up and this one down and listen to it. And then I can drag it back to get off it. So that's a bass and a piano. Your last thing, and this is only if you can do the extension challenge, plus piano. And then I'm gonna turn it into notes. So I press this button here that's red, and you're gonna add a melody, so that's a tune. And you're just gonna improvise something, you're gonna make something up. So I put an arrow at the beginning, and it's gonna go all the way from number one to number five. You have to start on the number C, on the letter C and you have to end on the letter C. So you start on there and you end at five. You can go up the notes. You can go jump. But don't jump loads. Don't be going like this. Just come up with your own little melody. It can repeat if you want. I did notes that were next to each other then, so it was easier for me. Into your brick wall, and you still have to quantize this. I use some coffees. If you use the wrong one, you can go back and press a different one later on. Double tap, and then make sure it finishes right on the number five, and then loop it, and it will finish. So now you've finished your project, if you've done the extension, you'll have these three as well. If you've only done the rhythms, you'll just have four. I want you to put your arrow right at the beginning and press the home button and the, on your lock button at the same time to screenshot. Then you're going to go back into your library, so you're going to press my songs. You're going to find your piece and you're going to hold it down and you're going to press share. And then you're going to press song. Make sure you press song. Song. High quality, you can put your name if you want. Share. And then you're going to go across till you find classroom. If classroom is not there, you are going to click on more and click on classroom. You click on classroom and then you find your assignment and you attach it to your assignment in there. So make sure it's in the right class. Attach it to the assignment and it will be attached there. Once you have attached that, you then need to go into Google Classroom normally and attach your screenshot. So you should have one, your audio file, and two, your screenshot. And then you are done and click Submit. 